over Utah, you've probably seen help wanted signs and shorter hours at businesses thanks to staff shortages. Utah businesses say they are experiencing a bizarre trend with job applicants right now. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher explains. Good girl, he's going to bed. Despite the busy holiday weekend ahead, Little Dog's Resort won't even be near full capacity. As we can accommodate 70. With Labor Day weekend coming up, we had to cap it at 38. They have more than enough customers, but only a fraction of their normal staff. We normally have about 18 employees this time of year, and um, this year I have six amazing employees. Owner and CEO Jennifer McMurrow has tried and tried to fill those 12 open spots, which includes a high-level general manager position with no luck. Everything we know how to do in terms of hiring doesn't work right now. People will apply and not show up for interviews. I probably had seven people over a week contact me and I don't think any of them actually made it to an interview. Ken Williams, owner of Storage Steals and Daily Deals, is finding out it's tough competition as other businesses also try to hire the same applicants. I had one this last week that said I actually just got a job and so I'm not going to come to the interview. According to the latest numbers from the Department of Workforce Services, 43,500 Utahns are currently unemployed. Even so, that's only an unemployment rate of 2.6 percent, which is on par with pre-pandemic levels. In that time, job openings have continued to grow across the state. While businesses fight for a limited pool of available workers, Ken's hoping he can hire just three more people as he approaches the busy holiday season. For Jennifer, she's looking at revenue losses worse than during the pandemic shutdown. Jennifer has ideas like state sign-on bonuses or other federal hiring incentives, anything to help this shortage turn around. It keeps me up at night. It does. Um, and I, you know, I worry about the amazing staff that I have right now and burning them out. Um, you know, because like I said, at some point, it's not sustainable. Something's going to have to give. In the Salt Lake Valley, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.